Well, Brent, with a primary election less than a month away here in Derby, Giovanni's lawyer said that this couldn't come at a worse time. Now, Giovanni is saying that he is innocent through all of this. I think the evidence that will be presented will show that I am innocent, so I still stand by that. Thank you. Derby Republican Alderman G.O.D. Giovanni appeared before a judge on Tuesday, charged with four misdemeanor counts in federal court for his role in the January 6th Capitol riots. Democrat, Republican, Independent, it doesn't matter. He is a good person and has been a good citizen his whole life. D. Giovanni is also the Republican mayoral candidate running for mayor of Derby. A Derby resident who knows him says that he was shocked by the news. It just doesn't mix. It doesn't wash with me. I, it's hard, hard to believe. D. Giovanni admits that he entered the U.S. Capitol building during the January 6th riots, but claims that he didn't damage or break anything. As part of his release, he must give up his weapons and passport, and he's ordered to stay away from the District of Columbia other than to appear in court. We hope that the public will understand that uh, he was just a man expressing his views and his political uh, of his political persuasion, and he is not a criminal in any sense. One big question is, will this impact how the primary election goes? Experts say it depends. Has, you know, such a, a big negative thing to use against him in this campaign. So it's going to be a war of words, and again, it's just going to depend on who the voters believe in terms of their ability to lead the city of Derby. Now, if he is convicted of all of these charges, he could serve up to possibly three years in prison. Now, his lawyer says that he is to be in court again in three weeks, and that's when the primary elections in Derby are as well. In Derby, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.